Now let's move on to discuss the cranial nerves. There are a total of 12 pairs of cranial nerves. This inferior view of the brain depicts the location of the cranial nerves. The first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerve. The second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. The third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve. The fourth is the trochlear nerve. The fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. The abducens nerve is the sixth. The seventh cranial nerve is the facial nerve. The eighth cranial nerve is the vestibulococular nerve. The ninth cranial nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. The tenth cranial nerve is the vagus nerve. The eleventh cranial nerve is the accessory nerve. And the twelfth cranial nerve is a hypoglossal nerve. Now we'll discuss each of the twelve cranial nerves, including its origin and function. Cranial nerve number one is the olfactory nerve, and its primary function is the special sense, smell. The origin of this nerve is the receptors of olfactory epithelium, and it travels through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. The destination of the olfactory nerve are the olfactory bulbs. The olfactory receptors are specialized neurons in the roof of the nasal cavity. These are the only cranial nerves that are directly attached to the cerebrum. The second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. Its primary function is a special sense of vision. The origin is the retina of the eye, and it travels through the optic canal of the sphenoid bone. The destination of the optic nerve is the diencephalon through the optic chiasm. The optic nerve contains approximately one million sensory nerve fibers. The medial fibers from each optic nerve cross over to the opposite side of the brain at the chiasm. The third and fourth cranial nerve. The third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve. Its primary function are motor movements of the eyes. The origin is the mesencephalon. It travels through the superior orbital fissure of the sphenoid bone, and its destination is the rectus and oblique muscles of the eye. The ocular motor nerve controls four out of six extraocular muscles as well as the levator palpebrae muscle. The fourth cranial nerve is the trochlear nerve. Its primary function is motor movements of the eye, its origin is the mesencephalon and it travels through the superior orbital fissure of the sphenoid. The destination of this nerve is the superior oblique muscle. This is the smallest of the cranial nerves and specifically innervates the superior oblique muscle. The fifth and sixth cranial nerves. The fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. Its primary function is mixed sensory and motor. The origin of the ophthalmic branch is the orbital structures and nasal cavity. It travels through the superior orbital fissure, and its destination are the sensory nuclei of the pons and the muscles of mastication. The ophthalmic branch is a sensory nerve that innervates the orbital structures. The maxillary branch is also a sensory nerve that supplies the lower eyelid and upper lip. The mandibular branch is the largest branch which contains motor fibers. These innervate the muscles of mastication or chewing. The sixth cranial nerve is the abducens nerve. Its primary function is motor movements of the eye. Its origin is the pons, and it travels through the superior orbital fissure of the sphenoid bone. Its destination is the lateral rectus muscle. This cranial nerve specifically innervates the lateral rectus muscle of the eye, and this innervation permits lateral movements of the eye. The facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve. Its primary function is mixed sensory motor. The origin for the sensory is from taste receptors and motor from the motor nuclei in the pons. This nerve travels through the internal acoustic meatus of the temporal bone, and its destination 
sensory to the sensory nuclei of the pons, and somatic motor to the muscles of facial expression. Overall, the different portions of the facial nerve include deep sensations over the face and control the muscles in the scalp and face. The eighth cranial nerve is the vestibular cochlear nerve. Its primary function, sensory for the vestibular branch and hearing for the cochlear branch. The origin are receptors of the inner ear. It travels through the internal acoustic meatus of the temporal bone. The destination is the vestibular and cochlear nuclei of the pons and the medulla oblongata. The vestibular cochlear nerve is also known as the acoustic nerve. The cochlear branch monitors the receptors in the cochlea to sense sounds during hearing. The ninth and tenth cranial nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve is the ninth cranial nerve. Its primary function is mixed sensory and motor. The origin, sensory from the posterior portion of the tongue, and motor from the motor nuclei of the medulla oblongata. It travels through the jugular foramen. The destination for somatic motor to the pharyngeal muscles involved in swallowing. Visceral motor to the parotid salivary gland. There's a motor nuclei for the glossopharyngeal nerve in the medulla oblongata along with cranial nerves 10, 11, and 12. Cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. Its primary function is mixed sensory and motor. The origin is the visceral sensory from the pharynx, diaphragm, and visceral motor from the motor nuclei in the medulla oblongata. It travels through the jugular foramen, and its destination for sensory fibers is to sensory nuclei, visceral motor to the respiratory, cardiovascular, and digestive organs. The motor function of the vagus nerve includes modulating the heart rate and smooth muscles and glands within its sensory monitoring areas. The last two cranial nerves are the 11th and 12th. The 11th cranial nerve is the accessory nerve. Its primary function is motor and its origin is the motor nuclei of the spinal cord and the medulla oblongata. This nerve travels through the jugular foramen. Its destination the internal branch innervates the voluntary muscles of the palate and pharynx, and the external branch controls the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles. The accessory nerve is made up of two branches, an internal branch which functions with the vagus nerve, and an external branch which controls the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trapezius muscle. The twelfth cranial nerve is the hypoglossal nerve. Its primary function is a motor function of the tongue. The origin is the motor nuclei of the medulla oblongata, and it travels through the hypoglossal canal of the occipital bone. The destination of the hypoglossal nerve are the muscles of the tongue. After exiting the skull, the hypoglossal nerve curves until it reaches the skeletal muscles of the tongue.